governor, Ned Lamont. Well, I can save you a lot of time by saying I agree, <laughs> uh, which I do. I, I, I'll tell you how I thought about this, though. I, I thought about this as our first budget as we're coming out of COVID and what we want to accomplish and what is the foundation we want to build upon. And for me, the number one priority was getting people back to work, um, doing everything I can to keep this economy growing. We've had a flattish economy for uh, many decades and get this economy growing again, make sure it's an economy that leaves nobody behind and is, means real opportunity for everybody. And um, as Sean said, I think it's a budget that meets the moment. I mean, for me, um, you know, Bob mentioned mental health. I can't get people back to school. I can't get people back to work unless they're ready to get back to work and ready for school. And you've seen all the incredible stress after uh, two years of COVID and uh, doing everything we can to get people ready. And that's why this commitment to mental health is so important. Daycare and childcare. I mean, it's about giving these um, kids the very best opportunity, but also mom and dad can't get back to work unless we have a good way for their um, kids to be well taken care of. And uh, this is the biggest commitment to daycare and childcare in the history of the state, and I think it's transformative. I think it's here to stay, as uh, the speaker said. Uh, for me, obviously, workforce development is so key. First time in my life, we got 150,000 jobs, having a hard time filling them for a lot of different reasons, one of which people aren't trained for those jobs. This is an opportunity to lift everybody up, so thank you to all the folks and the appropriations and the finance chairs who made this happen going forward. You know, Bob mentioned, um, and Susan, you know, paying down the pension. You know, it's, oh, that's a nice thing to do. We'll get to that later. And most governors have generally added to the mortgage and said somebody else can pay for it later. I, I'd like to give a, a shout out to uh, Dan Malloy. First thing you do when you find yourself in a hole is stop digging. He stopped digging. He was the first governor probably ever that made full payments on the pension, which makes an enormous difference. We have not only made the full payments on those pensions, but more than that, we paid down over $5 billion in pension obligations, which is gonna save taxpayers and governors going forward, you know, well over $400 million a year for the next uh, 25 years. That is one of the ways that we can deal with what happens and ARPA and other things change. If there's a recession on the sidelines, you know, we're better prepared for that than ever before. And finally, I had a great opportunity to work with um, Finance Chair uh, Sean Scanlon and John Fanfara and when it came to taxes, um, everybody always promises to cut taxes and then when push comes to shove, you often don't get it done. This is uh, the largest or one of the largest tax cuts in the history of the state. And uh, for Sean and Marty and me and the team, I really wanted this to be a middle class tax cut. You know, for Marty and I, earned income tax credit was so important going forward. Uh, it it's, uh, means people earning less than 50 or 60,000 don't have to pay Connecticut income tax. Anybody who's thinking about whether they should get back to work, it's one more incentive for them to get back to work. Sean on the child tax credit, doing what we can to help moms and dads afford as they uh, keep going. Uh, what we've done in terms of the car tax and the property tax, all the middle class taxes is a way to tell the uh, people of Connecticut we get it. It's a tough inflationary environment. We're doing everything we can to make this state more affordable and um, that's what we meant to do today. I want to thank Jeff and Paul and the guys who were leading the negotiations. Uh, they were every day. Not easy, not easy. Uh, but we got it done and we got it done on time as uh, Matt said. <laughs> That is a little bugaboo that I think is really important. It helps you plan. Want right. to sign the bill? Let's yeah, let's sure. sign it, and then we'll do questions I'm afterwards. Sure we'll take a couple of photos. I just want to make sure we get nice and geared up. Here. Here we go. So pause for a couple of photos, and then we'll give you a one, two, three, go. Yeah, but it's not.